Kari says, any suggestions for transitioning? Now, this is a Freudian slip here, but I like it. <laughs> transitioning out of a deadbeat career. <laughs> I think you mean dead end career, Hari, but deadbeat career. Is, I like it better. <laughs> yeah. It's more real. Yeah. So, so I, I think that is, uh, I think you couple that question with sort of Kate's question. Uh, and in fact, if I were to add anything to, to Kate's question, I was sometimes figuring out what is enough. Because sometimes I, I learned this also in the corporate world. I took a step back toward the very end because I realized I got this promotion that I didn't even mm -hmm. want. Mm -hmm. But like everyone said, well, you'd be stupid if you didn't take this promotion. I love mm -hmm. that you'd be stupid if you didn't. But would I be smart if I did? Right. <laughs> right? No, it's, I it's think not that's that. a that's big good. thing. That's good. And... and and actually, no, I was I was stupid either way. <laughs> it was just more stupid to take the to take the promotion. And, and I think we very rarely ask ourselves what is enough. Ryan mm. and I did this experiment recently with uh, all of our Patreon. Th thank you to everyone who supports us on Patreon. We decided, hey, six thousand Patreon members is enough. It's enough to pay podcast Sean mm. and Jessica who handles our social media and Jordan No More over here who does our, our filmmaking and also it pays me and Ryan's a little bit of money, but we, we rarely ask like, what is enough? It's always more like, yeah, I want to sell 3 million books. It's like, well, why is it so you can build wells in Africa? No, it's so I could sell, say I sold 3 million books. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. What, yeah. what does that even mean? And right. Yeah. And so like, uh, what is enough? And so whether it's Kate or Hari, um, Maybe identify what your enough is mm -hmm. so you know where you're transitioning to. Dude, so for Hari, th this is where minimalism really came in for me and Josh is, you know, I was stuck in this rut of like, well, you know, I make like, you know, 150,000 bucks a year and I spend every dime of it. In fact, I was in debt and I got to pay this car payment. I got to pay this, this house payment. I got to pay off this credit card debt. And well, I just, I have to keep this job because I got all this going mm -hmm. and it's like, no, no, sell your car, sell your house, yeah. get rid of as much debt as possible. Uh. So you don't have to make that much money. If Hari, if you want to change your employment, you need to change right now what you are, wh where your finances are going. Like first and foremost, because I'm assuming Hari is stuck because he's got to pay his bills. He has to keep this job in order to keep his lifestyle going. So for me, and for Josh, I mean, that's where minimalism helped us to get unstuck. It's what helped us get out of those dead end jobs. It was being able to take a step back so we could take some steps forward in a new direction that we wanted to go.